Osteoporosis is a bone disease characterized by the formation of pores within bone, leading to weakening and making them more fragile. These fractures are widely recognized as a major health problem in the elderly population. Osteoporosis means porous bone. Viewed under a microscope, healthy bone looks like a honeycomb. When osteoporosis occurs, the holes and spaces in the honeycomb are much larger than in healthy bone. As bones are in a constant state of renewal new bone is made, and old bone is broken down. In young age, osteoblasts new bone formation occurs faster than the resorption done by the osteoclasts and bone mass increases. After the early 20s this process slows, and most people reach their peak bone mass by age 30. As people age, bone mass is lost faster than it's created. Bone mass in later life depends both on the peak bone mass achieved in early adulthood and on the rate of age-related bone loss. Genetic factors strongly influence peak bone mass, sex hormone status, nutrition, and physical activity also influence peak bone mass. In women, estrogen deficiency is a major pathogenetic factor in menopausal bone loss. In men, the relationship between age-related bone loss and declining testosterone levels is not that significant. Let's move into the epidemiology. According to the WHO, 1 in 2 women and 1 in 5 men aged 50 years will have an osteoporotic fracture during their remaining lifetime. Pathogenesis The mechanical competence of the skeleton is maintained by the process of bone remodeling, in which a quantum of bone is removed by osteoclasts followed by the formation of new bone by osteoblasts. Under normal circumstances resorption always occurs before formation, and the amounts of bone resorbed and formed within each bone remodeling unit are similar. Osteoporosis results from increased bone breakdown by osteoclasts and decreased bone formation by osteoblasts leading to loss of bone mass. Risk factors Female sex, increasing age, Caucasian race, previous fractures, gastrointestinal diseases, family history of hip fracture, hypogonadism, low body mass index, immobilization, smoking, excess alcohol use, chronic liver disease, chronic kidney disease, glucocorticoid therapy, low dietary calcium intake, high bone turnover, vitamin D insufficiency. Clinical features, fracture is the only cause of symptoms in osteoporosis. Sudden onset of severe pain in the spine, often radiating around to the front, suggests vertebral crush fracture. However, only about one in three vertebral fractures is symptomatic. Pain from mechanical derangement, increasing kyphosis, height loss and abdominal protuberance, follow crushed vertebrae. Cole's fractures typically follow a fall on an outstretched arm, and fractures of the proximal femur usually occur in older individuals falling on their side or back. Let's move into the last part of the discussion, investigations. Dual energy X-ray absorptiometry, also known as DXA, measures a real bone density, usually of the lumbar spine and proximal femur. It is precise, accurate, uses low doses of radiation, and is the gold standard in osteoporosis diagnosis, quantitative ultrasound of the calcaneum, useful as a screening procedure prior to DXA assessment, quantitative CT scanning, this method is more expensive, and requires high radiation than other techniques. Here is a summary on our discussion today, definition of osteoporosis, epidemiology, pathogenesis of osteoporosis, risk factors, clinical features, investigations, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Treatments will be discussed in another video.